So the tool I want to talk to you about today is called World Book Online. So to get there, just like all of our other tools, we will open up our internet browser. We will navigate to the school district homepage, www.sycsd.org. We'll go to Schools, Friendship Elementary, School Library, and the Destiny Library Catalog. And here on the Library Catalog page, we're going to scroll down to the heading that says Research Tools, and we're going to click on the link for World Book Online. Now, students will need to log in um, to World Book from home. They do not need to do this in school, but from home, um, our login is library and the number two, and our password is one, two, three, four, five. So we'll log in. And the nice thing about World Book is that there is a kids version and there is a student version. Now the kids version is designed for our primary grade elementary students. So if you're using this with younger students, you'll want to click on the balloon icon. If you are working with older students, um, World Book Student with the pencil icon here is designed for our intermediate grades and for um, middle school students as well. So let me just show you some things in World Book Kids first. So we'll click on the balloon icon and um, we can search for our topic up here in the search bar. So say we want to learn about an animal, for example, a tiger. We can type that in, click on the article here for tigers. And Worldbook does some pretty neat things with um, the information in their articles. First of all, you can see that in Worldbook Kids, our article is pretty short. It's only a couple of paragraphs long. It's supplemented by pictures over here. We've got a video over here as well, and we can click on either of these to make them larger. And the video will begin playing. Tigers have sharp claws and teeth to help them catch prey. And if we pause that for just a minute, you can hear that our videos in Worldbook are narrated. And if we go back, to our article um, up here at the top in the toolbox. You can also click where it says here, text read aloud, and it will begin reading the text out loud in the body of the World Book article. Another nice thing that World Book does is that you can double click on any word in the article and a definition will pop up on the screen. So if, for example, we're not sure what shade means, we could double click on that and it's defined right up here on the screen. And it does that for any word in the World Book article. So this is great for helping kids um, work with some of the unfamiliar words they might read or might come across in this nonfiction text. Um, the other helpful thing in World Book is if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it gives inf information about how to cite this article. So students can just copy and paste the citation right onto their poster or their research project or their homework. And it's a great way to get them in the habit of giving credit to um, sources um, and they're never too young to start doing that. So I encourage you, anytime you use information from World Book, to um, really get kids in the habit of using these citations down here at the bottom of the page um, to get them in that habit for middle school and for high school. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, if you'd like to go back to the World Book main page, we can just click on um, the back arrows till we get back. This is the World Book Kids main page, and this is the World Book um, in general homepage. So let me show you just quickly something in World Book Student as well. Um, again, we've got a search box up here at the top, but you can tell that this um, World Book Student version is, is designed for our older readers. So again, if we search for tigers, we can click on the link for the article. You can see this article is a lot longer. The text is a little bit smaller, but again, it's supplemented with some of the same videos, some pictures. Um, this one has a map as well of where tigers live in the world. And just like World Book Kids, down here at the bottom, we have information about how to cite this article. Um, again, a great thing to get students in the habit of doing. Now, if we go back up here to um, the main World Book page, another helpful thing, um, if I go back, let me show you in World Book Kids. If we go back, here on this main page, they have a For Educators section. Um, here at the bottom, and in this section there are links to um, online lesson plans, there are links to some of our standards um, that support the Common Core, so all kinds of great tools for you down here at the bottom, um, as well as helpful information for our kids. So all in all, Worldbook is a great tool um, to use not only for research projects, but for homework um, assignments, and it's also great for um, accessing nonfiction articles to practice um, some of those nonfiction reading skills.